Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Hi, and welcome to Toy Break, episode 77. Ooh. I'm George. I'm Aileen. And Toy Break is your weekly internet show about toys and everything related to them, including designer vinyl, plush action figures, collectibles, events, how-tos, interviews, and more toy goodness. Go. So let's start with some contest winners. I know you've all been eagerly awaiting the winner for the custom Kirster plush. This amazing plush is about to be given away to somebody who submitted their picture on the forum. And the winner is going to be... Who's it going to be? Who's, Who's it, gonna it going be? to be? It's going to be... Smooth. Nice. Nice. So thank you so much to everybody who participated. We loved seeing your Yeti faces. And if you didn't win, which means you're not smooth, please go over and check out Kirster.com. And they have tons of more... Um, customs there you go out. so go buy one please you're just not smooth <laughs> there were some really good yeti faces too there were lots of good ones thanks everyone for entering we also have a second contest which is for the star wars galaxy series 4 trading cards complete set in pages and you just have to put your least favorite character from star wars in the form and we had some fun entries i like seeing who everybody hated yes and i have to agree um young anakin Pretty much any Anakin. Thumbs down. All right. Yeah? No. No? But okay. You liked Anakin? Yeah. Did you sympathize? Sure. Wait, you picked this one. I picked okay. the other one. I'm stuck on Anakin, bitching about him. Okay, so the winner is... Tiny piece of paper. Arco Faden. Congratulations. All right. One of I'm our new members. I'm going to guess that they like... The Glios. <laughs> that is one of our new four members from the Glios system. So congratulations and thank you very much for entering. And uh, you can keep the Star Wars discussion going though, you know. Yeah, you sure. We to. always like to hear what people hate. I like I like that stuff. So we have a new contest. We do. Let's get into Since it. Since that one, those two are over. There's just so much stuff to win. We have the new contest, which is Abraham Obama bust contest. Bam. That's right. Big. Huge. Big. Right there. Bigger than my beard. Nothing's it's almost that. Actually, it's almost not bigger than my beard. <laughs> but it's so attractive hiding there. Similar size to my beard. <laughs> it's a 16-inch gold version Abraham Obama bust by Ron English and Mind Style. Yes, it is. And it's limited to 50 pieces. It's priced at $200. Right here, two hundred dollars. Ooh, big prize, big prize, and it could be all yours, courtesy of 3DRetro.com. And all you have to do is head over to the forum and post a picture of yourself dressed up as your favorite president. Now, when we say picture, you can be creative. You can submit submit a photograph of yourself. It could be a drawing, a photoshopped image. Be creative. Let's just say though, if you get out there and you dress up. That, that's Maybe you'll get man. two pieces of paper into the pot with your name on it. Oh. I don't know. That's interesting. I'm just saying. What do we think about put this bust? Put a little bus? more effort in. Maybe we'll put a little more effort in for you. Uh, let's just... Here we go. Here it is. Real and we're quick? giving it away. Yeah, okay. So... Awesome. Run English. Here right it is. There. Let's give it away. Comes <laughs> in this giant box. Ooh, it's got different colors. Different it's colors. Very Andy Warhol. 44. Obama. Can Abraham Obama. Little card. Mind style puts these in everything Mind style style? for some reason. So there you go. All right. So, still talking about contests. We this have... contest is not by us, but it's actually no. by a forum member yes. for other forum members given back to the community. Very cool. Uh, in the Glios section, this is a the Glios Cutthroat Custom Contest. Monster Forge is the forum member who's holding a contest on our forum. Along with this custom ship, you will get an exclusive Glios action figure with a head handmade by Monster Forge. Nice. Hand sculpted and hand painted by him. It's truly a one of a kind. So enter simply uh, just post in the forum in the Gly Glios section under the Glios Cutthroat Custom Contest section. Said section too many times. Go. And when do they have to do that by? June 1st. Excellent. So just post in that thread on the form. You're entered. 
you could win. Thank you so much to Monster Forge. I think this is awesome. And uh, welcome to all the O'Neill people. We hope There's already been another contest in the Glyos section. I know. That went, that came and went, like, quick. So if you're into the Glyos stuff at all, and Jump why in. aren't you if you're not? Like Get that. into the forum and start talking because there's a there's a ton of you out there. We would also like to thank our sponsors like 3DRetro.com, PanicsToyBox.com, FuzzyBallsApparel.com, and TenaciousToys.com. Thank you, thank you to all of them. Remember, support them on ToyBreak.com. <clears throat> They're supporting the show. You're helping support the show when you support them. All that good stuff. It's it's a circle. The circle. Circle of, of life. support. No, a circle of life. On to the news. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. News. First up, IWG Sleepy Bear series by Rocket World. Coming in June, the newest series of IWG figures includes a sleeping bear with spork, combat knife, and human skull trophy. The choice of bears includes brown, panda, or white with blood. The price is not yet available, but keep an eye on rocketworld.org for more information. Cool. Super cute little series. They come with a spork. I love the little He's going to totally like, eat your brains out with a spork. He might. And he's all sleepy because it's after lunch coma. He just ate his human. Okay. <laughs> How about the Tenso Series 1 by Torben? This series is made up of two figures, handmade, hand-painted, articulated, and flocked for your enjoyment. Tenso, 8 inches high and limited to 10 pieces, is $80. And Flosha is 4.5 inches and limited to 5 pieces and is $40. Macaliboland.com <laughs> Go to, the, go to the toybreak.com and click on the link in the show notes. Good idea. Down there. Not Good idea. Not my balls, but <laughs> under my balls. Way down below. <laughs> so the Tenso, the $80 is approximate. It's actually 60 euros. And the fl Flosha or Flosha? What would we go with? That's just fake money. So it's just, let's just euros. say $80 and $40. Okay, we'll go with that. That's fine. Fake money? Look at the symbol. It's an E with too many lines in it and... Circles Too many lines. It's just misplaced lines. The same uh, no. Let's just call them dollars. Okay. Black Mamba Medusa by Eric Scarecrow. This 10-inch vinyl figure from ESC Toys is part of the Kasaki series, and it's limited to 300 pieces, sixty dollars, and it is restocked over at ESCToy.com. So grab it while it's there, because stuff over there sells out really quick. You can also grab the new little mushroom guy. You can the little while black it's guy. up. So yes. go to ESCToy.com and look for the link. Indeed. Natural Wood Pecan Pals. Pecan Pals? I think that's all up to how you say the nut. Pecan. pecan. By Nofrin. It's a pecan. This series includes five <laughs> figures. Claudius, Pecan, Finelli, Jack-Jack, <laughs> and Panda Cake. Ranging from four and a half to six and a half inches tall. Available now for $45 each at nofrin.com. Panda cakes are delicious. They're very cool looking, but very expensive. It's hard to get the pandas to sit still, though, to make the cakes. Craving some original art? <laughs> Several pieces from Common Nonsense Show featuring Scott... Tolleson. Tolleson. <laughs> Why do I screw that up every time? And Ken Kearns? Maybe? At Rotofuji? <laughs> they are still available online at rotofuji.com. Just wanted to throw that out there. Lots of pieces have been bought, but there's still some very affordable art left. And toys. Custom toys. Very cool. Blind box time. Blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <clears throat> Today's blind box was sent in by a viewer. Brought to you by you. They were sent in by, uh, I don't know how to say this name. It's Lomo D dot XX. Ah, uh, yes. We'll just call her Lomo D. There you go. Um, these are, what are these? These CI are boys. CI boys. Also by high calorie, though. This yes, is who did the, the calorettes. All right. Um. So, what do you want? I want the guy with little sticks in his head and his helmet, because that's funny. One looks like he's got like shampoo a with a shit with a like he's got like a cloud of he's with like a spray, a spray bottle can. on his head. I don't know. One looks like a green penis. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what I really want because it's hard to see them. But I want one of the black ones. I think with the pink on their belly. Okay. Let's do it. High calorie is awesome, and so are CI boys. Thank Don't. you to thank you to our viewer for sending. Yes, these thank in. you so much. That was very nice of you. A wonderful way to support the show. Ooh, pretty colors, pretty colors. Let's open it. We should put up a link to her Flickr nice page. We should. So that if, as you're watching this, you can click on her Flickr page and look at all of her pictures. Cool Lomo pictures. 
Oh, I got the exact one I wanted. Did you? I did. I got the one I wanted. Get out of town. I'm not even kidding. I'd like to stay in town. Okay, if I stay could. in town. Tree, right here. Got it. Good choices, Lobo. And I got the little black guy with the pink belly. Oh, How his often fur's does that ripped happen? off, and you can see his underwear underneath. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> How's he got underwear underneath his fur? That's what's under animals' fur. Haven't hey, mine you ever opened have the any fur? helmet or anything. You never opened the fur to see the underpants? What's under? <laughs> what's under the fur? Look at him. He's got a little tree and a little, oh, oh little, a little guy, guy where his privates should be. Well, here, there was Cute. a third box, uh, I guess, for our guest, but since Matt is not here, we will, uh, I'll open Matt's. Matt, which one do you want? I don't care. They're all stupid. I guess one of the black ones. <laughs> I love this guy with his little helmet. He's with little tree branches for some reason. He's got a little face under there on the back, like a bird living in there, heart-shaped bird. What'd you get? What'd you get? It's a yeah. kind of cute one. He's got a little tree on his belly as well. Wow, I cannot see the stud. The print on the back of the box yeah, is so really minuscule. Or oh, I'm getting really old. Oh, there's a cloud puking on the back. Mar marshmallow tree. Matt would have been happy. That's called. He's fun. Mine's called 40 Story Treehouse. Don't ask me how I read that. That is like a size 2 font. At least he's got a little hat, a little helmet. My, my little oh, guy didn't cute. have a helmet. See it. Here, you can play with him. My little dairy didn't get a helmet. Oh, he is. He's like puking green river cloud thing. Interesting. These are cute. I like them. Typical CI boys. Solid feeling. Good quality. Actually, the paint's very good on these. Awesome. So thank you very much for sending these in. Yes, thank you so much. We did not have any of those. So that's and it was awesome. a big surprise. It was like, hey, toys yeah. in the mail. Toys in the mail, love we that. love it. Is anything better than the day when you get toys in the mail? Even uh, if you ordered them? Maybe there's a day with like two boxes of toys in the mail. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> okay, so blind box is done. Let's go to reviews. 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 Argus 3000. This is by Secret Cinnamon Squad. I love that name. Three and three quarter type bootleg kind of figures. Um, these are more art pieces, kind of like the Sucklord does. Um, in fact, much uh, much praise was heaped upon Sucklord by in these people. Inspired by. <laughs> inspired by Sucklord, you Indeed. would say. Um, so they're hand cast resin pieces. There were, I think there were 11 of these made. Well, there were um, technically 16 made. There were 10 being sold. They ended up selling 11 because Sucklord wanted one. If I'm correct. I think they sent one. Yeah, they sent one. To so Sucklord. 11 went out. One gold, the rest world. silver. Yes. So someone out there has a gold one. Ooh, if you're watching, tell us who you are. Um, I want to see it. We're not going to open this, but if you go on our forum, there's a thread about this guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the guys who got one did open it and posted reviews nice. on his forum, on his uh, site, blog site. But just so you know, it's not an action figure. It's more of an inaction figure. It's... A statue. It doesn't actually have any articulation, right? Since it's a handmade resin, but it looks and is packaged like an action figure. But it's more meant to be kept in the package and hung up on the wall. It's more of an art piece like that. Which is awesome. I love you know Sucklord style comes with the whole card and everything. Love it. Yeah, I love the uh, the warning at the top. Just says warning. This shit is made from poison. <laughs> so I really don't want to open it anyway. For ages seventy six and up. Yeah. And then Damn the back has a bunch it. of the uh, the enemies of the Secret Cinnamon Squad team of baddies, <laughs> uh, like Agent Orange, the Brute, Kid Clown. So it's actually pretty funny on the back. Um, I don't want to spoil it by reading everything out, but uh, it's pretty funny. Let's look at the figure, though. Um, not for kids. If you open it, you're breaking the laws of friendship and are a shit fist. So there you go. I'm not opening it. I'm, I cannot want to be a shit fist. So let's look at it. Let's look at it. I love him. He's covered in little like human faces and skulls. I don't know, he reminds me of like a Terminator, but covered in faces. It definitely looks like a Terminator figure to me. Might be because it's silver. And it's got sort of a gunnish arm. Yeah. Gunnish? It's very robot, robotish, but covered with little heads and skulls. It's funny. It's got sort of a gun for a head. There's like well, there's like old wrestling heads on there. I think it's hilarious. There's little, looks like, looks like uh, tiny X-Men figures, or maybe some old Terminator skulls, and <laughs> here's a couple of like Lord of the Ring heads, oh, I yeah, think. Oh yeah, that one could be an X-Men. I don't know. They're pretty awesome. And it's painted silver with a uh, black wash, and it's done very well. Yeah, it's fun. 
Excellent. So now these ones actually sold out in just over 48 hours. So I would keep an eye on secretcinnamonsquad.com if you want to check out any of their future figures. And if you are interested in it, buy it as soon as you see it. Yeah, they sell out. There's very limited, so. Quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. What do we got next? Up next, Ugly Doll minifigs. Oh, case. First of all, love the little tiny, like, full case. Yeah, it's cute. Um, little. Basically, they're blind boxed, but if you buy a full case like this, you get the whole set. Yes. So, if you'd like just to buy a blind box and you see them in a store and you feel like just buying you one or like, two, hey, you never know which one you're going to get. It's one. nice. It's blind boxed. Or... You pick up the whole case. Pick up the case and just get Ooh, the whole thing. you got it. So these are three-inch figures. They include Wage, Babo, or Babo, I never know how to say that one, Jiro, Ice Bat, Wedgehead, and Ox, and they're all available in both classics and little ugly colors. So like George just said, each set, uh, each case contains 12, which is one of each col guy in both colors, classics and little ugly. $96 for the case, or about $8 each. Uh, they're still available on UglyDolls.com probably many other fine retailers and I'm not gonna pick which one I want because we have them all open your toys then learn to let go of them inside the let flap it says has not seen on TV <laughs> that's funny so let's just open up uh... you know what I guess we can pick which one we want because all right we're uh, probably not gonna open all of them. I want um, Babo or Babo I want Wedgehead you would <laughs> let's see what we got here Ooh, it's got like the cereal box, the cereal package, whole thing on the back. I got something yellow. Which one is this guy? Jiro? Oh, I Jiro? almost said I wanted Ox. Ah, oh, you got Ox. I got Jiro. These colors are great. Look yeah, how bright really that is. Yeah, really bright and vibrant. Nice, solid color. And some of them are articulated at the waist. No, they're all are articulated. Are they all articulated? Yes. Oh, okay. I think you can, maybe not. No, you're not supposed can to be able to take them apart. Them? You can't like switch them out? No. Oh. No. Okay, well, for some reason, you can turn them at the waist. Just to give them some play value for the childrens. Children? The, the childrens. <laughs> for the kids. It's for the kids. <laughs> Do you want to open another one? Nope. Oh, look, he's got I'm articulated to. arms, too. Oh, look at that. The paint is good. It's very simple, so... There really is no paint. It's just a decal well, for the eye. And a little tongue is colored, I guess. Nice one solid more, one color, more. though. Let's see Oh, see, I knew you wanted one more. He's such a liar. You're doing it. All the cool kids are doing it. Did you just call me a cool kid? No. I have it on tape. Come out. Ice bat. Nice. That's the noise he makes. Rip it! Tear it! Oh, I ripped my beard out. Oh, don't do that. Oh, look, ice bat. Oh, nice. In a different color. So we can see the uh, comparison of colors. So there you go. It's like, sort of a light baby blue and a... Dark. Nice blue. Dark. So icy that, blue. I'm guessing, is his version color then. Probably. There's probably a light green in here. Okay. But interesting about the ice bat, it's not his waist that moves, it's his head over his wings. True. Which wings not articulated. No. That's okay. And the, cause it's weird because the wings are like a hard PVC and the body's a roto. Interesting. Strange. Interesting. Again, still good paint. I think this is a cute series. These are I nice love and clean, yeah. Bright. Wah! And very simple, just solid colors. Yeah. Like them, like them. Up next, <clears throat> Mickey as Indiana Jones. Here it is in the package. Quite simple. There's nothing really extra on the package because it's made by Disney and they don't waste time putting extra crap on there. It's just the picture of the guy. And that's okay. Uh, oh. Stuff down, stuff down. Satchel down. So this is a three-inch PVC figure with whip, fertility idol, and satchel. It is $8. It's available at the Disney theme parks, and I found it a few places online, but online they rape you for the price, and it's like $22 and $25. Really? Yeah, because it's... I think I saw one at 40 or something like that. It's marked at 8 bucks. so when you go on eBay, it'll probably be like 40 times that. Yeah, it was ridiculous. If you can find one, though, it's, it's only $8 at the park, so don't pay more than... A little bit more than that. It's actually pretty good. It's <laughs> got four points, four points of articulation for a little PVC. That's pretty cool. Yes. He's got a tiny Mickey fertility idol, which is fun. It's got the little Mickey ears. <laughs> and a whip. You have to have the whip. And a satchel. And a satchel. Who doesn't want a satchel? I wonder, he can't really hold the fertility idol anywhere, though. It's more for looking at. 
There you go. Oh, look at you. You got a little uh, Paint a little sloppy on the hat over the ears, but... There's a giant seam running up his face. But, There's I mean, a giant seam running all over his body. It's Disney. They don't care. But just so you know, there's a giant seam running on both sides and on his face. But it's eight dollars. It's a Mickey. You can just pop his head off to get his little satchel on. I would say average quality, but awesome concept. Yeah, very cool. Neat little figure. Super fun. What else we got? That's what. Oh, we have a kaiju corner. Kaiju. So, today's Kaiju Corner is actually a CD. Actually, it's a double CD. It just gets better and better. Look at that. With some cool art inside. Drawn by Nagata. Very cool. So, um, this is called Kaiju. Funny. And it is um, basically inspired by Kaiju. Music inspired by Kaiju. Um, and it's sponsored by Super 7, Rocket World, Go Hero... Android 8 and Opticon. Did I get them all? Opticon Records Opticon and Records. Kaiju Big Battle. And Kaiju Big Battle. That's Don't right. forget them. Important. What is the tagline? In, in order to defend the world from invading monsters, we've created the ultimate sonic weapon. To power this weapon, we assembled the most powerful songs in the universe. It's a, comp <laughs> it's a compilation of 36 tracks, and uh, it's only 20 bucks. For two CDs, not bad. For two CDs. For 36 tracks, that's pretty good. And for a little cool piece of art True. inside. And there's a fold-out poster, but the fold-out poster is dumb. Well, in still my you get it. humble opinion. It's the cover of the of the CD. I would have rather had the art that was hand-drawn inside. Yeah, the art's kind of cooler. Whee, look at that. It's fun. But if you want your own copy, you could get it at kaijuice.com. I still and you love, can find out more about the, the bands and stuff. I still love that kaiju.com is Kaiju Big Battle. I know. What a great... They were the first people to, to, to jump on it and get kaiju.com. Now, there's some actually some really good songs on here. Like, the uh, there's a Transformers uh, cover. That's basically my favorite is the Transformers theme, theme as done by Meat B. Meat B. I wouldn't have guessed that that band was called that. No, me neither. Hearing. It's sort of like a Lilith Fair version. But it's so <laughs> awesome. It's just like it's slow so and like you just get into it because it's a good jam. It is a good jam. <laughs> but there's a lot of cool like weird style music and just fun kaiju-y type stuff. It's so, just fun. Yeah, Let's it's just good. leave it. It's just fun. Shall we on to events? Events. Events. Happenings. Do it. Stuff events. to do. BotCon, Transformers Convention, speaking of Transformers, speaking of Transformers, Transformers Convention featuring special guests, panels, a film fest, contests, and a sales room at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, California from May 28th to May 31st, BotCon.com. Also, uh, San Diego Comic Con coming yes. up in July. Yes. Get your tickets now. They are almost sold out. Yes. So you cannot buy them at the door. Get them now if you're going. And if they're sold out, find somebody who can get tickets or has them. Can't stress it enough. Them. So that's it. That is it. Episode Contact 27. us. That's our last section. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, save money with Toy Break. Use the coupon code Toy Break at 3DRetro.com for a limited time. Um, for a limited time. Coming up quick. Coming up uh, at the end of this month. Uh, is the end of the 3DRetro.com coupon code. So if you're wanting anything, get in there. Enter Toy Break for 20% off or at funcrush.com and octobertoys.com. Excellent. 20% off. Also, visit our website, toybreak.com, where you can watch the shows, watch past episodes, check out the show notes for this episode and, of course, past episodes. You could download the show video or mp3 you could join the contest on our forum you could check out our affiliates like adagio tees itunes rift tracks netflix and jello skins you can also find the number to call us and leave a voicemail which i'll tell you right now just in case you don't want to go to is 818 am i good question email us questions comments how do we do's at info at toybreak.com go to youtube.com slash toybreak check out our briefs and now here's your toy break you are. Okay, ready?
disciple. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.